Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Star Wars Old Republic video and today we are going to be doing the pack opening of the scavenger packs, uh, long awaited and uh, quite uh, surprisingly there's actually going to be two packs released before Kotet. I thought the scavenger pack was going to be the last one but what you'll see a little bit later is that there's actually the oppressor pack. I'll be going through that later but as you guys can see the scavenger packs are actually on sale for $4,000. There you see the oppressor pack on screen. It's on sale for 4,600 something cartel coins and the obvious real good items from this pack is Senia's lightsaber but more so Senia's lightsaber pike. I think Senia's lightsaber pike is actually going to be the most popular item from this pack but we'll see you know what happens on the GTN and what people actually put these up for but um, aside from that let's get right into the pack opening uh, Musk Musco did go on the uh, dev forums and say that um, the scavenger packs are going to be on sale for the first week so if you're watching this now is the time to get it because it is considerably cheaper if you're watching this after the week is over well then unfortunately you've missed out on the sale but getting right into it we have the relic plunderers lower body armor you know this is something that's very interesting um, for some reason the images aren't showing and that kind of sucks I guess that's some sort of glitch or something because I would love for the images to actually so show up um, so that you know you guys can kind of see w what the armor set looks like overall but I will go ahead in the collections tab and show you guys some of the armor sets I get at the end of this um, now I haven't really paid much attention to the decorations on this pack. Oh, this one's gonna be a gold one. The Artifact Seeker's Upper Body Armor. That is one of the things about the Scavenger Pack and even the Oppressor Pack that I'll be doing a preview for later. The gold armor sets are on point, and I actually really like the gold armor sets from this one. But uh, as you guys can see, I got the Upper Body Armor, but I do really want the Supplementary Body Armor because the helmets are the really, really nice ones. Um, yeah, yeah, makeshift fence. These decorations still sell decently, but I'm more looking for getting uh, something else. Here, the Ember Scale Dewback. Now, this is a really nice mount, but it's actually silver. Uh, now, when I did a pack preview of this pack, I thought it was always gold. So I'm going to jump into collections here and quickly check. No, it is indeed a silver mount. Now, that's really interesting because uh, it's 100% like sure it's going to be gold. And this Gloomlight Rake, this is actually the gold mount. Uh, I thought it was the other way around. I thought the Rake was going to be silver and the Dewback was going to be gold. But no, in, in this case, actually, the Dewback is, is the silver one. So that's pretty cool, actually. It's nice that we have a silver Dewback because anyone who ever wanted to have one, there was only one release in the game so far that was gold rarity. So now, basically, everyone who wants one is going to be able to get one. Uh, going on, I only have 12 packs left. Man, these packs go by really, really quickly. Uh, two Grand Chance Cubes, ugh. And the Vectron Harvester, uh, so junky. I mean, that mount's probably going to sell for like 20k on the GTN. Another Dewback. That's pretty cool. I might actually unlock one for myself, because, you know, Dewbacks are pretty rare in the game. There's only like one or two of these mounts over now available, so... Alright, so, okay, here we go. Finally, another gold item. I mean, there's only six packs left. It's a Dev Desert Scavenger's Upper Body Armor. And another gold one, the Artifact Seeker Upper Body Armor. Okay, wow, so three gold items so far, and all of them are Upper Body Armors, which is actually pretty lucky, because with these gold armor sets, you're really going to want the Upper Body or the Supplementary Body Armors. Uh, the Lower Body Armors probably aren't going to sell too well. Oh man, is this the last pack? No, we have one more pack left. Come on, give me another gold item. You can't just give me three. Ugh. That sucks. Wow. So there you have it, folks. Three, you know, 26 cartel packs, and all I got were three gold items. Although, granted, pretty nice ones. Here is the Artifact Seeker's upper body armor, and here is the Desert Scavenger's upper body armor. Pretty nice, but as I mentioned, the helmets are definitely the really nice parts of these packs. Uh, the Artifact Seeker one looks very unique. I don't think there's anything like that in game right now. Looks really cool. And then my favorite one is the Desert Scavenger. I mean, this one probably would go well on a Bounty Hunter, a Sith, an Agent, really anyone. I think it looks really, really nice. I really wanted that, actually, from this pack, so uh, it was pretty unfortunate I didn't get one. But aside from that, man, I opened up 26 of these packs and, um, and only got three gold items. Uh, come on, Bioware. I mean, that is some really terrible RNG. Out of a Hyper Crate, you should be able to get, you know, more than just three gold items, like... Come on. I wasn't even expecting to get the platinum items, honestly. I mean, I've learned that the trick to being happy about these, um, about these pack openings is going with really low expectations. Uh, there's Senia's lightsaber up there for 675 million, and the Umber Skill Dewback. And I'm checking these right now because these are the ones that dropped out of Grand Chance Cubes, because there was a little glitch where Grand Chance Cubes were actually dropping items from the Scavenger Pack. And so I just wanted to kind of see what they were going for on the GTN, because as of this moment, anyone who opened the Scavenger Pack, they can't put up their items on the GTN because of the cooldown timer. But, um, but yeah. 
So I'm going to cut to my uh, item stash here where I'm going to show you guys some of the items I got because I decided that uh, the pack opening itself was way too short of a video and as I mentioned the 26 packs went by so quickly. So here are some of the items I got and the decorations are actually t really nice and so I wanted to quickly point them out. Uh, here we have the Wanderer's Guest Table. It's a pretty nice arrangement. I actually got two of those and a lot of these decorations that are really nice are actually silver and bronze. So that's pretty cool that they're making some really nice decorations of, you know, more available because gold decorations can still be pretty rare. Here is a derelict spacecraft. That's a pretty nice one too. Uh, the Dune Umbrella. Okay, I guess this one doesn't want me to preview it. Oh, sometimes this glitches so bad. Alright, it doesn't seem like this one's gonna work. We'll keep moving on. The Ember Scale Dewback. Yeah, this as I you know keep previewing this mount more and more, I actually like it a lot more. I might uh, yeah, I might want to unlock one of these and it's probably gonna drop pretty low on the GTN too. The field tent looks pretty basic, uh, probably, you know, there's quite a few of these types of tents. Uh, I personally like the Mandalorian War Tent the most. This is the Frontier Hunter's Dual Saber. Yeah, nothing too special, I mean, Bioware has really been uh, not up to par when it comes to weapons. I personally don't like how the weapons look at all, I mean, none of the weapons in any of the Alliance packs are nice, aside from the Platinum ones, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I would like a return back to some of the, um some of the weapons that were in like the explorers packs and stuff that were actually nice uh... okay i guess this one doesn't want to preview either i hope that's not the decoration because it doesn't really look like a plant at all more like just a pot with nothing in it now this is my favorite decoration the speeder by trash heap this is a really nice one i mean this is like what decoration should be it's got a you know those that nice smoky animation and stuff like that that's really nice um, this is the Vectron Harvester. I got four of these, so yeah, got a ton of junk from this pack. I hate these junky items, you know, like the Covert Pathfinder that I previewed earlier too. They're just so junky, they sell for nothing, and it just makes you feel like your Hypercrate went to waste, honestly. Like, Bioware's introducing a new Disintegrate feature with the Command Crates. They should do something like that for Cartel Packs. You can, like, disintegrate it and maybe get credits or something, or maybe, like, I don't know, I'd rather have a companion gift than some of these mounts that sell for absolutely nothing. And it's really not even worth the effort of putting it on the GTN trying to sell it for like 10 to 15k. It's just not worth it. It's a waste of time. Uh, they don't even sell at that lower price because often you can get undercut by people. So it's just not worth it. Really, really junky. And as you guys can see, opened up 26 packs here and got three gold items. That's absolutely nothing for opening a hypercrate. I mean, that's 4,000 cartel coins still. I mean, you, you can do much better with other hypercrates. So I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe I just had bad luck. I'd like to see some other YouTubers do their pack openings and maybe I'll compare with how I did, uh, you know, based on um, how other people do. Maybe I just got really unlucky. However, um, you know, honestly, like these 26 packs went by really quickly. So I'll keep this video short and sweet. I do hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening. I was really excited to do this one because of the lightsaber pike that's in there. But, uh, you know, you can't open these packs hoping to get it. It really is just really just up to luck and you know if you got a lightsaber pike or Senia's lightsaber from these packs I know Sorter Central did and he put up a Twitter post on it you're just super lucky I mean these platinum items you could open up 20 hypercrease not get a single one of these platinum items so the fact that you got one just from doing a pack opening means you were really really lucky hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one